Ducky, hey Ducky, literature clever! It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever... Okay, so here they are on the side. We know that uh, <clears throat> this girl likes horror. This girl likes to write about cute stuff. They told us that. And then they haven't really told us what Sayori likes. So I need to craft a poem that Natsuki will like because I want... I'm ready for the... Uh, ready for Natsuki. Monica's not even on our list. Huh. If I want something cute, I'm thinking uh, a whistle is cute, right? She likes it. Okay, but you don't see the, the thing is you don't get to see what they might like when you mouse over it. And once you click it, you can't go back. But I did save, so it's okay. So for this girl who I've chosen, best girl, Natsuki, we are going to find things that are cute. Literally the word cute. That was easy. Okay. Uh, um fun. Oh crap. Um marshmallow or fluffy. I'm thinking I'm thinking Marshmallow. Yes! I'm so good at this freaking game, dude. A lust. Ooh. Smile is cute and clouds are cute. I'll do smile. Frick, dude, I'm not trying to pick you. This girl, get out of my life, please. Lollipop. Got him. She always picks the cutest thing. That's what she likes. Shiny could be it. Heart is also cute. Heart. <laughs> now it's like neck and neck, Sayori and Natsuki at this point, and I'm not trying to do that. Please. Please, what is the cutest thing? Anime, she does like anime. Yeah, I remembered it. Love is cute. Sunny is cute. Freaking suicide. Let me save just in case, because if I if I mess myself over, I'm going to be pissed off. I can save the game anytime, though, so that's good. So, uh, love. Load the game. Wait, it's different? Wait! One out of 20. Did I start over? It doesn't let you do it? Okay, lollipop. Anime. Uh, sugar. Yeah, rainbow. Shut up. Um, flowers. F off! Uh, whistle. Clouds was one. Sweet. Okay, load the freaking game. Hold on, it's, we got 20 of them. I have time to save it. Uh, chocolate. Yeah! She likes all the food ones. That's why I like her. That's why I like her. Nibble, that's a little questionable, but... How about a play might be the bubbly girl. We'll do nibble. Yeah. Heart. That one was wrong. Bouncy will be that one. Treasure. Shut up. I'm not going to go all the way. In. Here's Doki Doki. I don't even know what that means. Electricity. What? Uh, kitty. Yeah. Easy. Easy on that one. Heaven sent. This is so like these fantasy that one girl will like. Hop, explode, horror, uncanny, aura. I'll do heaven sent. Whatever, dude. This is none of this stuff makes sense. Vivacious, well, probably that one girl. Rain cloud, no. Calm, embrace. See, some of these music. Oh my god. Giggle. Cute. Yes, please. I think we're still puppy. Yes. I think we're still ahead on best girl. Kawaii. Yeah. Kawaii. After image. What the frick? Climax. Don't put that in there, dude. Uh, marshmallow. Yes. Okay, we're doing- we're, we're, we're fine this time. I think we're okay. Um, games might be her. Childhood. The other girl's more childish. Uh, friends. Oh, frick. Love. It went to freaking Sayori. Of course it did. Um, candy. Okay, we have to- we have to get her. It's gonna be for sure. Hi again, my dude. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Haha, <laughs> I'll kill you. Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least kept my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, my dude. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on. Like, he deserves any slack. That's why I like her. She gives us crap. Sayori told me you didn't even want to join any clubs yet. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Natsuki finds herself stuck between Monica and manga. <laughs> manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back. I think it is literature. Leave her alone just because she likes it. You don't have to be mean to her. Don't worry, guys. My dude always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. 
Sayori, that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. <laughs> is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? You and my dude can become good friends too. Uh, uh, uh Sayori. Oh, that was me. S Sayori. Huh? As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh, uh, Yuri even brought you something today, you know? Uh, wait, Sayori. Uh, me? Uh, not really. Don't be shy. I it's really nothing. What is it? N never mind. Oh, she's all embarrassed. Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Uh, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that's up to me. Th I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. <laughs> so any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. Don't flirt with her. I didn't choose this. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? She slaps me in the face. That's what she brought. Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. All right. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it <laughs> if you wanted. Th this is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? <laughs> she even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading that much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. Throws it in the trash. I enthusiastically take the- How do you enthusiastically take the book? Yeah! Whew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club, like dodgeball. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. They just hang out. That's what this club is. They just hang out. I can't help but notice her intense expression. It's like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Let's go talk to Natsuki. Do I get to pick one? Ugh. I hear Natsuki utter an exasperated sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs a hand. Yeah, well, she needs your hand. All right, dude. So I bet that we are going to talk to her right now because of the poems that we made. What do you think? You looking for something in there? That's not my voice. Freaking Monica! She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point in keeping your collection organized if someone else just gonna mess it up? Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across a shelf. Manga. Oh, that's me. Manga. You read manga, right? Uh, sometimes. Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into it until you figure out where the other person stands. That's true. How did you know, anyways? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written all over your freaking face. What's that supposed to mean? Ah, uh, I see. There's a lone volume of manga amidst a stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Curious, I pull it out of the stack. There it is! Natsuki snatches it out of my hand, rude. She then turns- Hold on. She then turns to a box of manga and slips the volume right in the middle of the rest, so she was mad because it wasn't organized. Ah, much better. Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. She would not like this office. I know that feel. I get a closer look at the box that she's admiring. Parfait girls? Wait, that's not my voice. Parfait girls? It's a series I've never heard of in my life. That probably means it's either way out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. If you're gonna judge, you can go do it through the glass on that door. See, she's cool. She points to the classroom door. This girl's tough, so I like her. <laughs> hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, my dude. Consider this a lesson straight from the literature club. Don't judge a book by its cover. In fact, Natsuki pulls out the first volume of Parfait Girls from the box. I'm going to show you exactly why. She shoves the book right into my hands. Uh, I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attire, colorful attire, striking animated feminine pose. It's this game. Gotcha. It's exceedingly mo. I don't know what that means. Don't just stand there. Ua. Wait, why am I saying ua? Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the windowsills. She pats on the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. We definitely got this girl. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't read at the same time like that. Uh, why is that? I guess it's easier to be close together like this. He needs some milk. She's like, uh? D -d Don't just say that. You'll make me feel weird about it. Natsuki crosses her arms and scooches an inch. No, come back, girl. It's okay. Sorry. I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Not that I can say it's a particularly bad thing. I open the book. 
It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space. While she hopes I won't- Oh, I'm noticing! I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Huh? You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? You know, you're talking in my ear. How can I read? Uh, I am, but nothing's really happened yet, so I can talk at the same time. It looks like it's about a bunch of friends in high school. Typical slice of life affair. I kind of grew out of these, since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of a plot. So, what should I expect from this book? Is there going to be a plot? Well, obviously. You think I would enjoy some that didn't have a plot? I, I mean, well, I, I guess I know what you're saying. A lot of the beginnings about simple things, like there's a really funny chapter where they're obsessed with a guy at the ice cream shop, but that just helps you get to know the characters. And besides, it's still entertaining. <laughs> but later on, there's all kinds of drama, like when they all get into their backstories and when some of the romance starts to happen. That's really what makes it so good. There are so many touching parts. Huh. <laughs> Touching parts, huh? <laughs> touching parts. The parts are touching. Oh, is that so? It sounds like you really know what you're talking about. Maybe I underestimated you. <laughs> hey, wait. What's that supposed to mean? Uh. What is, what is the ooh? -ah? Is that like a sound effect where she's... Yeah, she's like... He's like, uh. I just meant that I haven't seen you at your full power. Huh. Good save. This isn't even my final form. Ah, uh, this chapter seems like it's about baking. This is just a guess, but is there a lot of baking in- th Oh, yeah, it's parfait girls, what do you think? Well, Natsuki pauses for a moment as if she doesn't want to admit something. Yeah. Why does that matter? It doesn't, I'm just curious. Since you enjoy baking too, right? That's just a coincidence. I just happened to get into baking around the same time as I got this manga. Like I would ever get into anything because it's in a manga. Pfft. I feel bad for anyone that impressionable. Yeah, right. Ah, ha, ha. Definitely not a coincidence. I guess that explains Natsuki's interest in baking. Still, of all the hobbies to pick up from a manga, that's definitely one of the best. Yeah. Not to mention she's really good at it, so who am I to judge? She can bake cookies. Look how cute she is! Hold on, though. She looks about five years old. Very, um... Very young lady here. This is gotten different than I thought. Well, how old are we? We read on for a few more minutes. I finished a couple chapters at this point. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not. Even though you're just watching me read? Well, I, I, I'm fine with that. If you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Huh? Hmm? You don't? Uh, oh, there's the animation! Her eyes moved! Oh, God. Th that's not... Well, I wouldn't really know. Uh, what do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Jeez. Uh, sorry. Hmm. Like I could ever get my friends to read this. Well, I'm your friend, girl. They just think manga is for kids. Well, it doesn't help that you look six years old. I can't even bring it up without them being all like, Uh, you still haven't grown out of that yet. Makes me want to punch them in the face. Uh, I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, much less friends who are also into what you're into. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitated towards the other losers. Over oh, you just called her a loser. Good job. But it's probably harder for someone like you. Huh. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? Uh, I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. I don't even know what my dad would do if he found this. At least it's safe here in the club room. Except Monica was kind of a jerk about it. Ignore her! She's a popular girl. She, they're the worst. Don't even talk to her. Ugh. I just can't win at all, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am, reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Well, maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? Uh. So? <laughs> Jeez, that's enough. Are you going to keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I flip the page. Suddenly, Natsuki starts laughing. <laughs> I totally forgot that happens. Look how cute she is right there. Natsuki puts her finger on one of the panels. Minori is my favorite character. You always feel a little bad for her, since she's so unlucky. But it, it gets especially bad when... I shouldn't be talking about that yet. You can all learn a lesson from Natsuki, with the spoilers. You can all learn... We can all learn a lesson. I shouldn't be talking about that yet. Just finish this chapter already. Alright. <sighs> Natsuki's voice sparkles with excitement. It's a stark contrast to her usual bossy tone. But if she's not used to sharing her favorite manga with her friends, 
I can understand why. It's hard to express in words the feelings you get when connecting with someone like that. And being able to provide that to Natsuki, for whom it's a rare experience, the thought makes me smile a little to myself. Okay, everyone. Huh? Are you all ready with today's poems? Oh, we haven't even read it and she already liked us from that. Let me save real quick in case something happens. I'm a nervous, I'm a nervous saver. You'll, you'll get used to it. Oh, come on. Could your timing be any worse? I was just about to grab this dude's w We'll put, we'll cut that out. Sorry. I just need to make sure we have enough time. Though, you do look pretty cozy over there. <laughs> She's got to throw shade in every situation. This is a mean girl. She's a mean girl. Uh, uh. Natsuki suddenly notices how close she's gotten to me. She hastily slides herself a good 12 inches away from me. <laughs> All right. I guess I'll stop here for now. I close the book and hand it towards Natsuki. You're just giving it back? Don't you want to know what happens? Uh, yeah, but... M Monica just said... Don't be dumb. Just take it home with you. Huh? Is that really all right? I say that mostly because I really didn't plan on using my spare time to read this freaking manga. Well, of course. It would take forever to finish if you didn't take it home. Just finish that one before tomorrow so we can start the next one. And if it gets bent, I'll kill you. By tomorrow? I only got partway through the volume so far. I might fall behind on some shows if I try- It's okay, dude. But I suppose that's a necessary sacrifice in exchange for seeing Natsuki's enthusiastic face. This guy is pretty sweet. He's a pretty sweet guy. Or am I more scared of what will happen if I don't finish it? All right, then. I stand up. I return to where I put my stuff and carefully slip the book into my bag. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Y yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? Can't wait! Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same. Oh boy. Who should I show my poem to for- I'm gonna- I know you said it doesn't matter, but I'm picking Natsuki anyways. I told Natsuki I was interested in her poems yesterday. It's probably only fair if I shared mine with her first. Wait, we're not just reading them in front of everybody? That's weird. Okay, well, let's start with the things I don't like. So she just read it. First of all, uh... Natsuki rereads my poem. N never mind. I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Okay, then what's the point of sharing in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing other things, you know. In fact, remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when writing this. He's a sweet dude! I want to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours, like Monica said. Uh, well, I would be more comfortable sharing my poems if yours was really bad. You were supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, ha, well, it's not that great, but let you show, let me show you what real literature looks like. And then you went and ruined it. I hope you're happy. Wait, so I was supposed to write a bad poem? So in other words, you're saying you liked it. Uh, Natsuki's retort gets caught in her throat. Uh, you're so, you, you just don't understand anything, do you? I already told you, you don't have to go announcing it to the world like you're all self-important. Pretty sure you never actually said that. I say that mostly to myself. Natsuki must really hate me or something. I can't figure out if it's a win or loss that she liked my poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? Uh, fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me if I don't. Okay, here is, uh, Eagles Can Fly by Natsuki, last name. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can sink. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try, but that's about it. I thought it was very deep. It was deep disguised in like a simple shell. Kind of like her. It's like a bubbly shell, but when you really think about what she was saying, she said people can only try to be like all these creatures that have all these fun abilities. Yeah. I told you you weren't gonna like it. I like it. Bar. What? You're a bubbly shell. <laughs> Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff, so people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard below the belt. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then I made it fall flat on purpose. 
It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something, <laughs> kid. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did ya? Yeah, I, I guess not. I decide to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki's feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Okay, so we have to go through all this. Let's just go ahead and get Monica out of the way since I don't freaking like her at all. How about that? Hi, my dude. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good, good. Glad to hear it. I don't actually care. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Um, okay. I'll keep that in mind. I don't like you. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of, oh, it's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Ah! Don't worry, my dude. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I'm being <laughs> super dismissive towards this girl. I hand Monica my poem. <coughs> I burp away from the microphone. Mm-hmm. I like it, my dude. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. Ha ha ha. Oh, jeez. No, no. It kind of makes me think something Natsuki right. That's the whole point. Why am I even talking to you, actually? And she's a good writer, too. So take that as a compliment. Ha 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 Great. If you say so. Yep. By any chance, have you read anything by Shel Silverstein? Uh, maybe, maybe a long time ago. He's famous for telling all kinds of stories in a few simple words. His poems can be funny, endearing, or even sad. And sometimes, they're only a few lines long. They might even feel like they're written for kids, but if you think about them, they can express views of the world that would apply to anybody. I see. So, you're saying that Natsuki is kind of like that? Sort of. Maybe she's not an expert, but you probably won't find much filler in her poems. So wait, are you an expert? Is that why you feel qualified to... They might be easy to write, but they're super challenging to get the meaning through. So I could see why it'd be your kind of poem to explore. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's all right! I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little biased towards their own kinds of styles, but I'll always help you if I... I don't want to talk to you anymore. Don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. <laughs> That's the point of the game. Anyways, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? Oh, so you're fake. I understand. Well, let's read it then. Oh my god. She's got her own soundtrack. Hole in Wool by, uh, Monica. It couldn't have been me. See, the direction the sparkle protr spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, blind, like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas, already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he on the other side, was looking in. Okay, so someone's literally filming her in her home. This There's a secret camera in her wall. Is essentially <laughs> what this means. Oh my god. Yep, okay. That's awful. So, what do you think? Uh, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm really not the right person to ask for feedback. Uh, it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style's gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's coming on kind of strongly. Maybe after everyone's better friends with each other. Anyway, Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes, when you're writing a poem, or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. Oh, like Splatoon, I feel you girl. So move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. 
freaking great. Monica, thanks so much for... Uh, who should I show my poem to? Let's get freaking uh, Yuri out of the way. And her deep, dark self. Hmm. Hmm. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes more than enough time for her to finish reading. Uh. Oh. Sorry. I, I forgot to start speaking. Um. Uh, it's fine. Uh, don't force yourself. Really, I don't want to talk to you at all. I'm not. I'm just kidding. I don't hate this girl. I just, I, I do hate Monica, though. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. Because it freaking sucks. <laughs> I guess that I'm... I guess that it might be after reading through it. Ah, uh, so it's that bad. No, no. D did I just raise my voice? Uh, uh, I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face. Okay, chill out. It's not that big of a deal. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we haven't really gotten anywhere there. It kind of describes this live stream. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine. I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um... It's just that there are specific writing habits that are typ usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter and then they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as, it's as, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone. She sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing, even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little biased though. Hey, don't talk about my girlfriend that way. Biased how? Um, well, Never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. Yeah, you're right, you shouldn't. And if you do it again, I'll punk you. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily, as if that's a rare opportunity. What do you guys talk about poems every day? Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Thank you, my dude gets it. Ghost Under the Light by Yuri. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe. Calms. What? Calm, breathing air of the present but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. Sorry, that, that, that part's hard to read right there. I guess it's calm with a comma? It looks weird. Uh, I'm sorry I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to- Oh, did she actually notice how long it took me to read that? What the frick? Uh, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is- Qu Quit flirting with her, I didn't tell you to do that. Huh? Th that's a relief. Also, I liked the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short? I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest. Yeah, she probably usually writes about people freaking slashing their wrists open and stuff. Something easy to, di to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, my dude. <laughs> really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over- You just said it took me a long time to read! Okay, make up your mind. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. I don't need a lecture on poems, thank you. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost, lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That is a lot more solemn when you put it that way. You almost should have put that in the actual poem. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember, it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Yeah, maybe you're right, or maybe you're dumb. I guess I'll just have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Don't count, don't count on me. Don't count on me. Ba 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 ba. Don't count on me! Who should I show my poem to next? Oh, I can't decide. This is a good poem, my dude. Are you sure it's your first time? Uh, of course. It's not that good. Am I the kind of guy who'd be writing poems in his spare time? <laughs> I guess you're right. But that's why it impressed me. Well, to be honest, 
I was afraid you wouldn't do it seriously, or that you wouldn't write one at all. I'm really happy that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. <laughs> Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. <laughs> Got her. Uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, my dude. Deep down, you're not selfish at all. You so on the surface, I'm selfish. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. Trying new things like this for other people. That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason- No, you don't like her. Stop it. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah. And I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That'll be my way of thanking you. All right. Oh, that's not your voice. All right, I'm gonna hold you to that then. Yay! Now you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Okay. Dear Sunshine by Sayori. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. <laughs> Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above. The sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> I want breakfast. All right, Sayori. This is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? No. Just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. <laughs> I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little bit better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say it was a bad poem. It came out nice. Or how should I put it? It, it sounds just like you. Freaking dumb. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. <laughs> I made eggs and toast. <laughs> Even though you were late to school? It's bad to skip breakfast. <laughs> I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyways, thanks for showing me. Ah, <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Uh, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. <laughs> He's such an a-hole to her, I love it. Whew, I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. It's almost as if I joined a club where that's exactly what we do. Even if they're be just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Huh? Uh, did you say something? Uh, oh, it's nothing. Uh, Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one. Ooh, she does not like it. I guess you could say it's fancy. Uh, thanks? Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How could that be cute? I, I know that. I, I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Huh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Uh, well, I do have a couple of suggestions. <clears throat> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it, and my dude did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give some, you some suggestions of my own. First of all, uh, excuse me. I, I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. Oh, these girls hate each other, which I haven't yet. <clears throat> and my dude liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh, I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Uh, uh, th that's not what I... Uh, you're, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that my dude appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh, and how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? Huh, no. I if I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Uh, uh, um, is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew to a size bigger as soon as my dude started showing up. 
Natsuki! Uh, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you! They both said it at the same time. Uh, I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly, both girls turned towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. My dude, she, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true! She started it. Wait, she started it! If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, my dude! Wait, th there's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning most effectively. Avo avoiding them is not only unnecessary... Ah! Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, my dude? Um... Well? Do I get to pick? How did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing, say... the... game? It's not like I know anything about writing, but whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. So of course it's gonna be... Best girl, Natsuki. Um... Yuri, you're really talented. Uh-huh, whoa, whoa, whoa. But Natsuki has a point. I think that I rack my brain in an attempt to back myself up. I think that conveying feelings with few words can be just as impressive as well. It lets the reader's imagination take over. And Natsuki's poem did a really good job at that. Yeah! It did, didn't it? Aha! Shows how much you know! Th th that's not... Natsuki. I think that's enough. Yeah, she needs to chill out a little, though. Huh? Me? But she was so mean to me! Natsuki's voice whines. Look, what we talked about yesterday was right. Writing is a really personal thing. And sharing it can definitely be hard. It looks like we learned that today. Even small criticism can lead to something pretty heated, guys. Right, guys? I glance over my shoulder. Sayori is nodding vigorously. Yeah, so you don't need to feel threatened. You're a great writer, Natsuki. Uh. Natsuki's voice gets caught in surprise. Thanks for noticing. She finally mutters that, barely audible. Yuri. Huh? Yuri looks at me dejectedly. With a face like that, I can't help but feel bad for her as well. I'm sure that Natsuki didn't mean everything she said. So you don't need to feel threatened either. Well, if you say so. Hey, it's not like you need to apologize for me, my dude. Sheesh. Natsuki takes a breath. I, the, th the thing about the, Natsuki glances around the room. Would everyone stop staring at me? Unsurprisingly, Natsuki has a harder time with this than she boasted. Sayori and Monica look away. Hmm. Anyways, the thing about your boobs. I didn't mean it, okay? That's all. Natsuki looks away, avoiding eye contact with anyone. Yeah, you're naturally beautiful, Yuri. Sayori? Uh, I, I, I'll go make some tea. Yeah, this, this got weird real quick. Uh, I was just trying to help. I'm sure she appreciated it, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. You freaking dits. Well, now that we're past that, everyone's ready to the poems, right? I hope that it was worthwhile for everyone. Especially you, my dude. F off. And to be honest, it's a nice change of pace from the lazing around we got a little too used to. <laughs> uh, so my joining the club was responsible for ruining the atmosphere. No, not at all, not at all. There's still time before we go home, so we'll all relax for a bit. Of course, besides chatting, we do literature related things in the club room, so maybe you could take the chance to pick up a book or do some writing. After all, that's what the club is for. I disagree, Monica. Huh? About what? That's not the most important thing about the literature club. The most important thing is having fun! <laughs> of course. Well, I guess that's why you're the vice president, Sayori. <laughs> Great. In the end, though, Monica's right. Being in the literature club probably means I can't spend all my time doing nothing. But in the end, I guess it's been worth it so far. Okay, everyone! It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun! Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was all right. Well, mostly. My dude, how about you? Yeah, I'd, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learn something from your friends too. So your poems will turn out even better. Yeah, about that. I think to myself, I did learn a little more about the kind of poems everyone likes. 
with any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. Yeah, we get it, game. Thank you. Gosh. I nod to myself with newfound determination. My dude, ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Sayori beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. She's kind of creepy. Sayori, about what happened earlier. Huh? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, 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 no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't... You don't hate them, do you? No, no, I don't hate them. It was just freaking annoying. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Oh, you know, my dude, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club, but I think seeing you get along with everyone else is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you too. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. <sighs> it looks like Sayori still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? I'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. We are friends. I said that more to myself than her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's do this. <sighs> all right, guys, that is all the time I have for this episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. The game is getting a little weird with the fights and stuff going on. And I've, of course, been told that it gets really crazy later. So please don't spoil that. But give me some tips down in the comments. I'll keep the episodes coming out. I've got probably one more episode from this stream before I play it again. So uh, if you want to come to the streams, the Twitch link is down in the descriptions. If not, feel free to hang out here on YouTube. I got you guys. I got it here for you, too. Hey. I love you. Make sure you hit all the little YouTube buttons on there at the bottom if you want to see more from me. And as always, have a bye five. On the game, you look gay. That girl's voice is like a boy. My, don't judge a girl by her voice. She just said don't judge a book by its cover. It's obviously a female. Her voice is low and rough. That's just how Natsuki is.